guys, it's me, Refree Tech. Um, so it's probably my last video. Hi, all things internet subscribers. Good to see you again. I came across a random goodbye video on YouTube. Normally, I don't click on videos like this, as most of them are clickbait from popular YouTubers. But the thumbnail had a really emotional and sincere face, so I clicked on it, and to my dismay, it was really honest. A goodbye with a really sad story to go with it. Republic Attack, a small YouTuber channel doing Star Wars dioramas in Lego, has been running his channel for eight years. This poor guy came home to find his car window had been smashed, as well as his house broken into. He found Lego had been stolen and destroyed. What is truly heinous about this crime is to get into the room full of Lego they walked past, a Mac notebook, cash, and other items that they didn't even steal. They did not want any tangible valuables in his house. They only wanted his Lego. As someone pointed out, they left the best Lego model in the room, the USC Imperial Shuttle, in the corner of his room after this all happened. This guy was devastated, very emotional, and felt that there was no point in continuing with his passion on YouTube. So he made a goodbye video there and then. And this is a small segment of it. Hey guys, it's me, Rufri Tech. Um, so it's probably my last video. Uh, I came back home like two hours ago and found like the car in the in the parking being having the window destroyed. Then I found Lego pieces all over um, the garden and the terrace. Then uh, I just found also broken windows and doors. And finally, I saw also destroyed Legos just down the stairs. And I found um, some Lego, a lot, missing in my Lego room. <laughs> So, and my creation, which was here, um, gone, totally destroyed. Um, fortunately for me, I, go, I took a picture before um, departing for work, uh, because like I can be gone um, for a lot of time or else because of my work, I travel a lot, and so they, I don't know if. It is he or she, uh, or if it is um, they, but they just rip it. And the same for many of my sets, um, all uh, many UCS too, many new sets, including the Millennium Falcon, which I didn't have the occasion to build yet. And um, and many other Legos I was uh, about to build, um, many customs too. So, I'm um, just stopping Legos, and so, it's been <laughs> great adventure, 8 years and 14 years of collection, but now, even with lots of money, I can't rebuild that. It's just not possible. My brick's gone, like, <laughs> I need to rule spots. So I'm just stopping. So, um, and probably I don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah, so it was really great to have you uh, follow me during the ages and inspire other people doing also Legos. Uh, I really enjoyed that. And uh, <laughs> I had some plans for my creation, like it was an Imperial Mark. Uh, I can actually show you pictures, but no. Not what it was supposed to be, but how it was, and <coughs> and with an ATAT uh, motorized. Oh, the two are gone, also, by the way. They took the two. They took the slave one, they took the super star destroyer, claw armor customs, all my customs, actually, even brick place one. <coughs> they took, yeah. So, that's it. 
my lord and honor and goodbye sorry for the break um and um um really um i really enjoyed legos um uh, then my child i was six years old when i got my first set it was really a passion um i was hoping to become an awful and have my own Lego room and everything else you know like where you have every pieces which have its own um um away in its own box and you can just build your mark and have multiple tables and really a room dedicated to it um so i'm <laughs> just saying no um to what i had planned and so it really was my passion in fact it wasn't part of me because like when i walk and i come back the weekend and just for relaxing legos you know and just when i'm gone for traveling and what i'm thinking about i'm for leisure and trying to relax i'm thinking about my lego projects and gone so next week i have to go again <laughs> um, yeah for the walk and um and so that's the end of this channel so what well, pleasure What's really strange is that they personally come for Legos, I mean, no laptop been stolen, no computers, and they're worth it, I mean, they pass just through it, they, there was a brand new a Mac computer, they didn't stole it, so stuff like that, and, uh, so yeah. <sighs> so thank you for following me for those eight years, and bye. Well, they're wishing you the best with your Legos, and just be careful, uh, because there are some bastards out there and um, so goodbye in just one of these videos he said he spent 18 months and used 2,000 pieces of Lego to complete his diorama this guy does not make money off his YouTube videos as they're not monetized he does it for the love and passion of Lego especially in a Star Wars theme now that's the sad part of the story, and here's the happy ending. At the time that Republic Attack went and published his goodbye video, he had 4,440 subscribers. To date, he has over a million subscribers. Since his story has gotten around the YouTube community, his channel has exploded. Unfortunately, none of the extra additional views would assist him as he was not monetized. But one of the big LEGO fans made a GoFundMe page asking people to donate to this man's channel. And in one day, from over a thousand people, over $18,000 was received. This guy was not hurting anyone or competing against anyone on YouTube for YouTube views or subs. He was just a simple guy enjoying building Lego. Never asking for anything in return. Just sharing his passion. The support of both the YouTube community along with all the Lego lovers has restored his faith in humanity. $18,000 will go a long way in replacing some of those pieces. Go check out his channel, send him a message of support, and let him know that even though this happened years ago, that there are still good people in this world. See you soon, and have a great day.